So our next presentation is from Kazoo's Thank you. Thank you, the Argonite Festival, for inviting me. A great pleasure to travel all around from Spain to, to UK to, to be with you, to, to attend the concerts, who were amazing, that was were amazing, and to try to show a little what we do at Media La Prado. Yeah? I don't know if you know Media Lab Prado, uh, we call it a citizenship laboratory uh, where you can do experiments and production with cultural projects. Um, we are kind of a, a maker community who is trying to develop projects which are interesting for us. Yeah? One of the projects that holds Media Lab Prado is called Auto Fabricantes. So Auto Fabricantes is a learning community of makers. They uh, are interested in creating a prosthesis, uh, especially for kids. Uh, these prosthesis, they are 3D printed. They are now focusing on the, wrap, on the right, uh, on the app. Uh, they are making hands, okay, and, and prosthesis for, for kids' uh, hands. Sorry for my English, I'm totally nervous. I think it's obvious. <laughs> um, I belong, I am, I am here on behalf of this group, but I don't really uh, collaborate with them that much. I'm just trying to help them with a part of this project, which is the idea of using the, the processes they made um, uh, to, play, to play music, okay? Uh, they are focused on processes for kids because they believe uh, kids grow up very, very quick. And they don't, they don't use these uh, professional processes until they are very, very old. Yeah? In the meantime, it's a very expensive for the families to buy those professional processes. And they thought maybe it would be interesting to try to find a solution uh, where the hand is uh, cheap to make and also in the way that the kids can get involved in the design of their, their own hands. They can choose not just the colors, but also they can design things for their hands. Imagine a kid who wants to have a hand with more fingers, or who wants to have a hand to cut pizza slides or something like this. You know, they can be really, really fantastic creatives in this way. So, this idea of, of developing this hand um, in collaboration with my work at Media Lab, which involves technology and, and music, we thought of using these hands they made because they, they made a lot of prototypes they, they never use because they, they made by trial and error. Uh, to try to use them in a way we can, we can use it for musical, musical purposes. Okay. And um, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> um, yeah. So with this project, we don't want to make a um, high-tech robotic hand to play music. The purpose is not now to make something really um, fancy. What we want is a way of helping those kids that maybe lack of one or two fingers to feel they can also <coughs> be attracted to learning how to play a normal instrument. Yeah? So the idea is to develop parallel this, this second project to make the hand possible for them to access uh, traditional instruments. So what I brought here is just a simple prototype. I have to keep working on it, but if you have time later, I can show you more or less how it works. Okay? And if you have questions, I'm, I'm done now. Yeah? So is, is the idea that with the hand, say if I was missing those fingers, yeah. um, um, but I would be able to sort of almost program that to mimic how to play an instrument using these fingers to play a passage or, um, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, let me tell you, when they become one of those kids to the, yeah. to the uh, office, <coughs> they scan the hand, they make a 3D scan, and they design a hand that uh, completes what, what is missing, yeah? The idea, yes, is to have these processes in a way made that you can uh, connect to to, uh, 
to the one who is going to make music. So my idea is that you can program the fingers you have robotic to play for you what you need. Is that what you were asking? Yeah. <coughs> yes? So does that mean you're getting the kids involved at the coding level? Are you kind of teaching the kids to code, you know, things like the bargain pies and that sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, at this stage, we don't have uh, the hands to be programmable. So not even myself, I'm programming this. We have at Media Lab uh, many projects to get kids to program, like Coder Dojo, to, uh, for example, yeah. And I had a Sonic Pi workshop last year, also this year, to teach them how to program music. So at one day, it will probably fit together properly. Should I begin with the blue producer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Auto Fabricantes. Open bio? Uh, when open bio in English. Oh, have you come across open bio? No, I don't think so. But I I don't know. Uh, like yeah, yeah, this is the translation. So yeah? So the idea is for a kid to wear his hand. Yeah, yeah. The how how would it come? So you have an Arduino there. Uh, yeah. Uh, how is the kid controls the movement? Does okay. he have control or the, the, the hand does always the same thing? Okay. The hands they have now and the kids use right now, they are only mechanical. They move the hand just to grab things. And they do it because of some mechanical pieces they have on the arm. Now they are developing a myoelectric prosthesis that is inside, they have some circuits and the motors, maybe two or three, very little inside the hand. So the future of the project will be to have a myo, myoelectric hand so you can, you can move the fingers separately. And for that you have, you have to learn your sensors to teach them how to control your, the fingers. This is an ongoing project. I, I don't have a clear idea how, we, uh, how will I connect this, this part with my project because this is not yet done. But still, I am working on the, other, on the other things I need, like how to program fingers to play a piano. You know, this is so an ongoing project. Thank you. We haven't worked on this for so, so long. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I would like to say something about the name of the project. I call it Liberaces Wannabe. I don't know if you know who is Liberace, who was Liberaces. He was this pianist, very flamboyant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like, I, I like this idea of having a hand who wants to be like the hand of Liberace. He was, <laughs> he was a perfect pianist. But he didn't play like classical <coughs> stuff. He was playing also just things for people to dance, you know? And I, I like this, this image. <coughs> okay. Thank you very much.